IUPAC nomenclature of organic compounds. That means how to name organic compounds. Actually, this is a vast topic. So, I need three or four classes to complete the whole thing. Okay. Now, in earlier times, the organic compounds are named in accordance with the origin and their particular properties. Okay. So, this naming is called as the common name. This naming is called as the common name. Okay. For example, the acid present in the citrus fruits are called as citric acid. Like that, the naming was done. Okay. Later, there are millions of organic compounds in the universe. So, it is very difficult to name those compounds. So, a new systematic method of naming was introduced. And this is called as the IUPAC method of naming. IUPAC naming. IUPAC. IUPAC means International Union. International Union. of pure and applied chemistry pure and applied chemistry this is the full form of IUPAC okay now let us see the one by one the simplest organic compounds contained contains only carbon and hydrogen okay only carbon and hydrogen and such compounds are called hydrocarbons such compounds are called hydrocarbons and when come when these hydrocarbons are combined with heteroatoms hetero atom means atoms other than carbon and hydrogen like oxygen nitrogen chlorine bromine etc if heteroatoms are present, they are called as hydrocarbon derivatives. Hydrocarbon derivatives. Okay. Now let us start the naming of the compound. In the case of IUPAC naming, it contains three parts. First one is word root. First part is word root. Then prefixes. Prefixes. Then and suffix. Suffix will be primary suffix or secondary suffix. Primary or secondary. Okay. These are the three main parts of naming. Okay. Let us consider a compound CH3 CH Consider this compound So in this case in this compound this chain the longest chain is called as the parent or root parent chain or root okay this is the parent chain and this is the branch of this compound and OH this is the functional group okay this is the functional group okay now let us see what do you mean by word root word root means what do you mean by word root? Word root means the number of carbon atoms present in the parent chain. Okay, number of carbon atoms in the parent chain. Okay. Now, let us see which are those depending upon the length, 
the bird root will vary okay here the bird root okay, the length of the common here length how many carbon atoms are present in the parent chain okay and here the word root to see if there is only one carbon atom c1 means one carbon atom then they are called as met c2 eth c3 prop c4 c4 is but c5 pent c6 hex okay c7 hept c8 opt c9 none okay up to c9 okay now next c10 duck okay c10 is duck c11 on duck okay next c12 door duck okay c20 c20 will be ecos okay up to this we can study so this is the main chain of the the parent chain of the combo depending up the upon the length the word root varies okay now next is the suffix suffix means carbon chain second part is suffix okay which indicates suffix indicates whether the compound is saturated or unsaturated or unsaturated okay next part is suffix okay prefix we will see later first next part is suffix okay how can we draw the column draw the column like this okay now here we can write the nature of the chain here nature of the chain whether it is saturated or unsaturated okay here we can write the primary suffix we are using now if the nature of the chain is saturated if it is saturated then we are adding ane along with with word root we are adding ane so if it is eth ethane it is eth is word root and ane is suffix okay next next is if the compounds are unsaturated what will happen if the compounds are unsaturated unsaturated may contain one c double bond c it is called as en ene if there is two c double bond c then it is called as a diene a d i e n e if it is three c double bond c three c double bond c they are called as a triene okay now if there is one c triple bond c triple bond c will be we know this y n e if two c triple bond c then we call them as a before the y n e we have to add a d y n e okay these are the primary suffixes okay now let us see secondary suffix there are two types of suffixes secondary suffixes and primary suffixes so primary suffixes denotes the saturation or unsaturation of the compound and now the secondary suffix indicates the functional group in the molecule secondary suffix secondary suffix denotes the 
functional group in the molecule functional group now let us see the functional group okay functional group secondary suffix denotes the functional groups in the molecule so which are the functional groups see one by one okay first here i am writing the organic compounds okay here the group attached okay and next how can we name the compounds okay organic compounds if the compound is an alcohol if the functional group the alcohol group oh will be the functional group and we call them as all so if it is ethane it is if oh is attached it is ethanol okay now thio alcohols thio alcohols are denoted by the compound the functional group is sh and they are we are writing thiols okay now third one is amines 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 nh2 amines is nh2 amine okay nh2 amine then aldehydes aldehydes cho group so we are writing al al so ethane is ethanol if cho group is attached to an ethane group ethane molecule then it is ethanol okay now second next one is keton co keton is can you denote own o e n e okay now next is carboxylic acid carboxylic acid acid group is cooh so ethane if uh, cooh is attached you are called them as ethanoic acid okay now next is amide 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 group is co nh2 co nh2 and we call them as amide itself amide now take another example acid chloride acid chloride is which group is acid chloride cocl and call them as oil so if it is an ethane group it is ethanoyl chloride okay now next ester ester group is ester c o o r ester group is c o o r so o h o a t e so ethane it is ethano h okay next group is nitride nitride group nitrile nitrile is c triple bond and so it is nitrile sir okay like that goes on okay so these are the secondary suffix or the functional groups how we name if functional group comes okay so there are three parts word root prefix and suffix we studied about the word root and primary suffix and secondary suffix now next is the prefixes how can we write the prefixes functional groups are also represented as prefixes okay certain functional groups are also represented as prefixes for example take no2 group is present if no2 group is present we have to write them as nitro alkane for example if ethane is there if no2 is attached to an ethane compound so it will be nitro ethane okay like that then or or yield is alkoxy alkane alkoxy alkane 
okay so alkoxy if it is a c2h5 group instead of r so it will be ethoxy ethane and the parent chain is ethane it will be ethoxy ethane now cl chloroalkane okay next br it's bromoalkane okay i iodoalkane like that it goes on okay f will be fluoroalkane okay now if it is no is attached no it is nitrosoalkane okay these are the prefixes so those uh, we are using in front of the parent chain so ethane nitro ethane like that okay in the case of cyclic compounds the prefixes cyclic compounds for example prefixes used are for example this compound this is a propane so this is a cyclic compound so the prefix used is cyclopropane so if it is a cyclohexane cyclopentane like that it goes on okay if more than one functional groups are present if more than one functional groups if there is oh two oh groups are present if three oh groups are present depend if two oh groups we are using di if three tri tetra like that it goes on these are the prefixes used okay now if there are polyfunctional groups are present if polyfunctional groups are present what will happen for example polyfunctional are you polyfunctional some examples are polyfunctional groups if poly means if more than one functional if oh group and co groups comes together then in such a cases uh, for oh we are naming as oh we are naming as prefix will be hydroxy okay now cn will be cyano cho will be formyl cho formyl then sh sh special name mercapto sh will be mercapto then sr 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 will be alkyl thio alkyl thio okay then if coh group if coh and some other groups also comes then it will be carboxy okay carboxy these are the prefixes used then co will be keto okay nh2 will be amino nh2 will be amino now next is cocl chloroformyl like that okay it will go so these are the introduction to the iupsc nomenclature of organic compounds next class i will continue the nomenclature with the different rules of the organic compounds